Welcome to GCK King Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. The favor of God, according to Git Ugumona, forfeits the failure of men. Notwithstanding, success, progress, and greatness are not without a price. Little wonder, Winston Churchill said that the price of greatness is responsibility. Hello, Reels, and welcome back to the GCK King Circle. I'm Josh Clinton, your host for today, and with me here is Gloria Otsubo. I am your co-host on today's show. Today, we are diving into a thought-provoking topic, the prize for divine favor. And joining us to shed light on this intriguing subject is the extinct Dr. W.F. Komiu. Dr. W.F. Komiu is a global icon, a standout intellectual, a seasoned mentor, a supportive mentor with a desire and burning zeal to guide young people on the path to greatness. Dr. W.F. Komiu's teaching have inspired countless individuals to seek divine favor in their lives. But before Dr. W.F. Komiu comes up for today, let us set the tone with this piece of music. As the spirit was moving over the water, spirit come move over us. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. As the spirit was moving over the water, spirit come move over us. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. So come down, spirit, when you move, you make my heart. Welcome back. In a world that often prioritizes personal gain and success, just like Joseph in the Bible, there is a price one might need to make in order to attain divine favor. In our discussion, Dr. W.F. Kumuyi takes us on a journey of discovery as he speaks to us on the price of divine favor. The price for divine favor. That's what price, I'm sure you understand. And that's what you pay. You go to the market, you want to have something. You want to have a good thing. It doesn't come for free. You pay the price. You pay something. And so, divine favor also doesn't come out free for nothing. You pay the price. In Genesis chapter 37, looking at verse 3. Now, Israel loved Joseph more than all his brethren. Because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors. Israel was a father. His other name was Jacob. Jacob, Israel, the same person. The father of Joseph. He loved Joseph more than all his children. Well, there were a lot of reasons for that. But you'll find in that verse 3, it says, Because he was the son of his old age. That means he was fond of him. And um, Joseph did not take the affection and the love and the fellowship of the father for granted. Joseph did not say, My father loves me. And so whatever I do, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going to take my father's love, my father's affection, my father's fellowship for granted. That means that I'm just going to live anyhow I want. And it doesn't matter, my father will still love me. No. Joseph understood. There's a price to pay, to win and to keep the love, the affection, the fellowship, the favor of the father. And then we're told that Jacob, that is Israel, he showed that he actually loved him. There's an evidence for it. He made him a coach of many colors. As you look at the word of God, you will find that, again, we're referring to the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me just tell you why we refer to the Lord Jesus Christ when we're talking about Joseph. There are a number of similarities between Jesus and uh, Joseph. 
Jesus was hated by his own brethren. Joseph was hated by his own brethren. There was no accusation of disobedience or sin against Jesus. There was no accusation of disobedience or sin against Joseph. Jesus was persecuted and Joseph was persecuted. Jesus was sold for the price of a slave. Joseph was sold for the price of a slave. Even though Jesus was rejected, he was eventually accepted because the Father approved him and promoted him and exalted him and gave him a name above every name that had the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And the same thing with Joseph. Joseph was eventually promoted and he became the highest in the land. And so you will see there are comparisons and similarities between Jesus and Joseph. Now, uh, let's look at this, that the Father also loved Jesus, and Jesus loved the Father. Two ways. It's not a one-way traffic. Do you know one-way traffic? I said, you know one-way traffic? Tell me out loud. Yes. When the road is in such a way that vehicles or cars, motors can only move in one direction. And vehicles are not allowed to come the opposite direction. That's a one-way traffic. And the love of God is not supposed to be a one-way traffic. God, the Father, loved Jesus. That's one way. And then Jesus loved God, the Father. Two-way traffic. Look at John chapter 3, verse 35. In John chapter 3, verse 35, the Father loveth the Son and has given all things into his hand. The Father, the Heavenly Father loved the Son. That means then that's one way. Look at the other way now. In John chapter 14 verse 31. John 14 verse 31. But that the world may know that I love the Father. I love the Father. The Father loves me, and I love the Father. It is the two-way traffic that ought to be, that you ought to have love for the Lord, while the Lord also loves you. You need to have fellowship with the Lord, while the Lord is having fellowship with you. Affection for the Lord, while the Lord is having affection for you. You'll find in the case of Joseph, the Father loved him. And he also loved the Father. And always want to understand that the price you pay for the love of God to be shared abroad in your life. And the love of God to cover your life entirely. And the love of God to manifest itself in practical, wonderful, tangible, profitable ways. Is that you will show love to the Father. And your love will make you to do always those things that are pleasing in his sight. In fact, look at this. You like this about the Lord Jesus Christ? In fact, this is the reason why the Father in heaven so loved Jesus, his only begotten Son, so very much. We're asking, O oh Lord, that your word will enrich and benefit every life in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Truly inspiring. Thank you, Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, for sharing your profound insight with us today. I must say I am tremendously blessed and I'm sure you are too. Oh yes, I was. And thank you to our viewers for joining us on this episode of the GCK King Circle. Remember, Dr. W.F. Kumuyi has emphasized Every good thing comes with a price. Divine people also doesn't come for free and you pay the price because the reward far outweighs the cost. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Until next time, be a world changer for Christ. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. Dobby F. Kumui will love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King Circle.